Hello all you photographing the world people. I've just put this video together to show you a script which I've made for the community which will help you with your star trails. So just to give you an idea, we have here a whole bunch of files in Photoshop at the moment which are going to simulate our stars. So I've got 15 images and it just is a white dot moving across the screen. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to close all these down and show you how this script will work. So we'll run the star trails and step one is please move the star trail images into their own folder and press OK. They're already in a folder on my computer, so I'm going to push OK. Now we need to set the location of the star trail files. So we'll click choose star trails and the folder is already set on mine. So we'll click open. Then we're going to click continue and we're going to say how much we would like the star trail to fade at the end. So you could say zero and there'll be no fade or you can say 100 and there'll be a complete fade off to black or anywhere in between. So for now, we'll leave it at 100. The computer will process that for a second. And what we're left with is all of our layers inside a folder called Star Trails, which you shouldn't ever touch the folder. You should leave that one alone. But then everything in here will be set to a lighten mode with the correct opacity and the opacity is written into the file name, uh, into the layer name, sorry, to help you understand what it is that's happening. Now, the question is, what if we wanted to change the opacity? Well, we could go in and we could do it all manually, but instead, I've made another little script here where we can click on this one and say, choose new percentage. So let's say we only wanted it to drop to 50% over the course. Well, now you'll see this has been updated so that the lowest percentage is 53. So basically it's taken the number of layers and divided it by 50%. We can also reverse the order. So say for instance, we wanted it to be darker on this side and lighter on this side. We'll choose reverse. And this time I'll leave it at 100. And now it's darker on the right hand side and lighter on the left. So it gives you a lot of control over what's happening with your star trails. You'll then basically take that entire folder of star trails and composite that into your main shot. If you are interested in using these scripts, I've included a link in the Facebook post to where my tutorial series on how to actually write JavaScript for Photoshop is. The first lesson is completely free and it will explain how to go about connecting these buttons up to make this all work. And then if you are actually interested in what I've made there and you find the first lesson appealing, the rest of the tutorial series is available online and I will be putting some discount codes up in the Facebook post that is along with this video. So if you are a user of Photoshop, definitely jump in there and have a look because you might find that some of these scripts and some of these automations can save you a huge amount of time in your daily workflow. Thank you.